Hey guys, what's up? So, we're on to day 20 now, and the whole of today I've been talking about all sorts of stuff about preparing your blog for launch, and this is just a quick video to run people through how to customize your basic WordPress theme if you don't know how to do that yet. So, it should be nice and quick, so I'll just run through it now for you. So, what have we got? So, first thing you want to do is go to your WordPress dashboard. Once you're in your dashboard, uh, I'm going to do this on my freelance site, you can go to Appearance down the left-hand side, uh, you can look at your theme first, so right now I've got the 2017 theme, which is the WordPress theme that most people will have by default. You can pick another theme, but I'm just going to show you how to edit it. So what you want to do is click on Customize down on the left bottom left-hand corner. When you go into Customize, it'll bring you to your front page, which is going to by default have um, an image up the top here, your title, uh, a description, and the post that you've put out. And if you go through, you can see it's got all of this different content here, a couple of different posts. So a couple of things to look at. So first of all, if you don't want your post to run really long like this, because that's really annoying on your, on your front page, one of the first things that you want to do in, is to actually go into your posts. So go into your posts here. Let's just edit this one really quickly. And you want to add something called a read more tag. So basically what it means is if you only want the first the people to see the first paragraph of your work. Let's see if we can work here. Yeah, you would click this tag here, which is read more tag. So if we put it here, insert read more tag, it's going to put this nice little dotted line across here. If I update that, just wait a second for my internet to catch up. What's going to happen now is when I go back into the customize screen, it's going to cut that section off. So let's just go back into appearance and customize. And if we scroll down, as you can see now, it's now cut off that post and it says continue reading. So you can do that with your blog post so that it means that it gives you a little bit of a tidbit as an intro and then people are going to want to click on it. Okay, so that's the first thing. So what have we got here? We've got a couple of different options down the left hand side. The different themes will have different screens. So what I suggest for everybody is just to play around with this, explore it. And before you launch, just turn things on, turn things off, just experiment and see what works. So site identity, that's where you can upload a logo. So you just hit select and you would upload a logo here. You've got your site title, so that's the name of your blog and your tagline. So you can put whatever tagline you wanna put there. You can choose to display it or not display it. It's up to you. You can just have your image across there. And your site icon is something called a favor com. So if you just use this Tinder one as an example, crop image. What it means is that in the top left hand corner, which will come up here, it creates this little favor con for the image. So you can upload and add one of those if you want to. Colors, that's the color scheme. So you've got light, dark, custom, can choose headers so a dark theme is like this a light theme is like that I tend to prefer light you can also choose your header color so go for red if you want to that's the image of your text basically so you can choose whatever one you want for that as well you've got your header media that's your image at the top here so you can put a video if you want to be fancy I wouldn't bother video is going to make it slow to load um, you can add a new image and again, it'll go to your media, or you can hit randomize, it's just gonna go through your media. I would do add new image, so you can add your actual header in that you want. You've got menus, now this is your menu bar that's gonna be at the top. If you haven't added a menu yet, for example here, we can select main menu. It's gonna put a menu to the top here. So you can choose and edit your menu in here. So menu locations, you've got things like social links, which will add uh, menus to the top and also at the bottom and my theme lets me do another one ignore that we don't have threads printers here so you can choose you know the different menus that you want to have you can actually add your own menus here you can hit add menu and call it whatever you want and you can choose and play around with the settings and if you hit add item going to let you add posts, pages, categories, whatever you want to have to your menu. So for example, if I wanted to have 
travel and work as categories as menu items and then I also wanted to have let's say a page which was my welcome page and my home page that gives me four items there in my menu so I'm going to have travel work welcome and home and you can move them around if you want to change the order of them so that's nice and simple got widgets now widgets are usually on sidebars you can add widgets in if you want to you've got things like archives calendars custom menus you can add images you can put your Instagram feed uh, pages comments recent posts you know whatever you want to add in really um, and if you put them on the right hand side it's going to add a widget to the side you can call it whatever you want you can call it popular posts recent posts you can even get it to display the date if you want to so you can add different widgets you can also add widgets to your footer so your footer is down your bottom and you have a footer too so you can add other things so you see you can add different things as they come across so that's your widgets. Static front page basically means you can either choose to have a, a front page which is fixed. So I've actually made a welcome page for this in the past, which was like this. So it means that rather than going to a page which is your latest posts, like this, it will go to a fixed page and you can choose wherever you want it to go. You can pick. But you might find that instead of having a fixed page, instead you want to just go with your latest posts. Uh, additional CSS is for adding code. Obviously, if you don't know code, don't worry about that. Um, and that's basically how to run through a simple customization option. So you might want to change your image, change your name of things. You might want to pair, play around with the widgets that you have, change your menu, and maybe add the, um, the continue reading tags that I showed you at the start of the video. And really that's all you need to do. That simple change there is just gonna make it a little bit more personalized, but I wouldn't worry too much about your theme. Your content is your most important aspect. So if you do that, that's how you can make some basic changes to your WordPress theme.